Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on WebRTC Playback. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a WHEP WebRTC Playback from NimbleStreamer via WMS Panel. We'll use WHIP WebRTC Ingest as a source, and we'll build an ultra-low latency delivery pipeline. Any Ingest protocol supported by Nimble can be used for generating WHEP output not just WebRTC source, though transcoding is required if the codecs in use are not WebRTC compliant. In case an input stream has VP8 or H.264 video and Opus audio, no transcoding is needed. We'll demonstrate this case in this section. All other codecs must be put into the transcoding pipeline. We assume that you have a Nimble Streamer instance installed and registered in the WMS panel. Make sure you've updated Nimble to get the latest version. If you consider codec manipulation, then the transcoder package must be installed. Subscribe for a license and register it for the server first. You can find respective commands on the transcoder's documentation page as it is not part of this tutorial. WebRTC requires SSL for running, so you need to set it up for your Nimble instance. Whether you buy or get the certificate for free, make sure to have a valid SSL certificate for your server's domain. We'll now proceed to review the SSL options that are set. Log into your Nimble server, open its config file, which is typically located here on Linux. The certificate and its key files must be specified by the respective options, with full paths as shown on the screen. Next, let's add the WebRTC-related parameters to the Nimble config. If you already set up the WHIP input for Nimble, you probably added these lines in the config. This is the specific option that we will add to enable WHIP output. The following config lines are required to run WHIP. Don't forget to restart Nimble after saving these changes. Now, let's enable WHIP for your output applications. Switch back to your WMS panel account and navigate to the server's live stream settings. Click on Applications and then Add Application Settings button to create a dedicated application for WHIP WebRTC playback. Name the application and specify a login and password for WHIP ingest. Please note that it's a plain text authentication and we use it for testing purposes only. Pushing any supported protocol to this app will have WHEP WebRTC output, as we enabled it by a checkbox. We've disabled all other output protocols for the sake of clarity. Click Save and wait until settings changes are accepted by Nimble. It will be confirmed by a green checkmark. Next, we'll make an ingest to this app using Lyrics Broadcaster and WHIP WebRTC protocol. The connection URL is available via the question icon in the application settings. Click it, find the block starting from WebRTC, fill out the stream name, and click on the soft vellum logo to have a publishing URL in Larix Grove format with the corresponding QR code for quick import. We're starting Larix Broadcaster for iOS, pointing it to the QR code and tapping the Grove link. The app recognizes the code and converts it into settings. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to Larix. Return to the Lyrics main screen. And now we push the big round button to start streaming our demo scene. Switch back to the WMS panel and navigate to the Live Streams page. Here, we see the stream is being received. Before going any further, let's have a closer look at your playback URL for WHEP WebRTC stream. It's formed like this. It's quite self-explanatory. Your domain, SSL port, app, and stream. To identify the stream as a WHEP WebRTC, you should add WHEP.stream at the end of the URL to make Nimble recognize it as a WHEP playback. You'll need a special video player for your WebRTC browser-based playback. Our developers forked WebRTC Player by Ivan with some changes and made it available on our GitHub. It's open source, and it provides a free opportunity to use this cutting-edge technology. You may also find the standalone demo page visiting the following URL. For your convenience, we've included this player to WMS Panel. Find it by clicking the question mark on your live streams page. And now, you see your stream is playing. Check the time difference between source, lyrics, and player. It's a truly ultra-low latency delivery. That's it! You've successfully set up WebRTC Web Playback using Nimble Streamer. Now, you can integrate ultra-low latency streaming to your applications with ease. 
If you have any questions or need further assistance, let us know in the comments or via our help desk. You can find more details and documentation in the description. Thank you for watching.